I am starting this video off differently than any of my other videos so far. I figured I would take you all just kind of around running some errands with me. I have a few places I need to go. Um, got a little sticky note. I'm just gonna go by Ulta. I have a, I have, wow. I have some points that I really need to, um, I don't really need to use them, but you know, why not? I need to go to Target and Home Goods and Michaels. I am on the search, on the hunt for some more fall. I'm on the hunt for some more fall decor and some more fall stuff for my flat lays and YouTube background, all that good stuff. So yeah, that is my plan for today. So I figured I would take you all with me. Hopefully it's not too busy. If it's too busy, I may not be able to film much in these stores because I know some stores get kind of weird about that, but I will do my best. So I'm just taking you along on my day and today is Friday. Tomorrow, Saturday, we are actually going to audition for Family Feud in Louisville, Kentucky. And so I'm pretty excited about that, but I do need to find a outfit for that as well as probably some shoes. So yeah, that's kind of the goal as well as fall decor. So yeah, let's go ahead and just get this trip on the road this trip on the road that didn't make any sense anyways let's go are you riding so you never ever leave from beside me because i want you and i need you i know this song is like so overplayed but i still just love it i can't and if you do see a lipstick on my teeth in this video please just disregard and act as if it's not there I swear, like this is yep, all the time. That literally happens all the time. People cannot drive. All right, so we see Ulta, and right next door is Target. Kohl's, eh, and then Home Goods. Okay, so I just got to Target and Ulta Home Goods. They're all, they're all in like the same. What are you about? They're all in the same shopping center, so it's super nice. I love coming here, although it can be kind of dangerous because I love all of those places. So yeah. Um, but yeah, so I'm here. I'm gonna go and see what I can find. I will try to film in there if I can, but I don't know how busy it's gonna be. It's like 1.30 on a Friday. I wouldn't assume it would be that busy, but it looks kind of busy. So I'm just gonna have to play it by ear and uh, maybe I can get a little bit of footage. Uh, I don't know. We shall see. Okay. okay, so I am actually cutting my little trip short because it started raining and I am just not trying to be out in this mess so I did just get to go to Ulta use some of my points get a few things and be sure to do a little mini haul for you whenever I get home just show you what I got actually I'm just gonna do that right here just to make things a little simpler um, I got a an Elf Beautifully Precise Precision Eyebrow Duo Brush. I needed a new um, brush for my needed a new brush for my brow pomade. So also picked up the Renaissance Flick Liner by Makeup Revolution. I've heard a lot of good things about this. I've heard um, Tati rave about it multiple times on her channel, so I figured I would give it a shot. As well as, I think, Emily Noel. I think she has um, talked very highly of it, too. I did get a Expert Concealer Brush by Real Techniques. I needed another one of those as well. I do have a Concealer Brush by e.l.f. As well as, I think, Wet n Wild or maybe Crown Brush. I'm not sure. And I do really like those, but I just want another one just because I do use those on a day-to-day -day basis. And... It was on sale, I think, for like four dollars. So, one too bad. I got another. I haven't repurchased this in a while. It's the ColourPop Brow Boss. Um, it's just their brow pencil. 
Um, I got this in the shade Ash Brown. I really like it. I've purchased it before online, but when I saw that it was there, I was like, yeah, I'm going to try that. Or I'm just going to get it there rather than ordering it online. And I needed another brow pencil, so. Also got this NYX Slip Tease Full Color Lip Lacquer. So, I think I heard, maybe it was Tati, I think she did a video about this. And it is the shade Camel. Looks like a really pretty kind of like pumpkin spice color. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it looks just really fall-like. And that was really my goal is to find a good fall lippy. And I've been loving glosses lately. Except my glosses there do me dirty. Like I don't. I've had to just take all of my lip stuff off. If you notice that something's different, yeah, it's because I took all of my lip stuff off. Because I put a lip gloss on top of the um, Palladio Casey Holmes collaboration lipstick and um, over the liquid matte lipstick that she collabed with them on. And for some reason, it just would, <laughs> every like five seconds, it was getting on my teeth, like the color was, I guess, from the gloss, like breaking up the color and making it not matte anymore but I was just like no mm -mm. like take it all off because if I'm walking around smiling at people and like I have lipstick on my teeth that is just a really big fear of mine that I do not enjoy pretty sure pretty sure I have nightmares about that so yeah I really gotta I really need to get a um a mount for this It'd be a great idea I also, oh no, it's open. What the heck? also got the uh, ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade on board. I'm sure, people are driving past me, like wondering what the heck I'm doing. Don't worry about it. And this is a super pretty, like bronze shade, and it's super shimmery and. Oh, it just looks beautiful. I think that would look so pretty on top of just a fall like matte red lip. I think that would be beautiful. So I got these um, Ulta Beauty makeup applicator mitts. I was going to pick up the JCAP Beauty Aqua Assurance powder foundation that they have. Um, Tati and someone else. Tati and someone else have raved. Tati and the Tayla have absolutely raved about this foundation. Um, the Tayla says that she she sets it with her Catrice Dewy Setting Spray, which I have that as well. So I really wanted to try that combination. But then Tati said like the best way to apply it is with a velour, a velour, a velour puff. So I got these instead. They're like little makeup applicator mitts. They look like they will do a really I mean, the same thing that a velour, a velour, why can I not speak? The same thing that a velour puff will do, but it just seems like a lot easier to use. Like you can like put your little, you know, fingers in it. And I feel like it'll help get, I don't know, just where it needs to be. So yeah, I'm going to order that JCAT found powder foundation here soon on Ulta's website, but I just want to go ahead and get those. I got two new lip liners. These are the... These are the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liners. Got one in the shade Vintage and one in the shade Downtown Beauty. Um, vintage is more of like a plummy, kind of like a maroon brown. And then Downtown Beauty is more of like a just a warm brown liner. I needed like some darker lip liners for the fall. I have a lot of like nude and whatever, like nude and like kind of red lip liners, but so I wanted to get something a little more vampy. I absolutely love Flexitarian Highlight. That's actually what I'm wearing today. So I did go ahead and decide to pick up another one because I absolutely love the formula of Flexitarian and of their Super Shock Cheeks. Like, oh my goodness, they are amazing. So I went ahead and got the shade Wisp. It looks more kind of like a, kind of like a gold, kind of, yeah, like a little bit deeper of a color. So um, I picked that up. I can tell that my flexitarian, it seems like it's getting a little a little dry. Like, I'm still, of course, going to make it work. But I just really wanted to get another one before it ran out. So, that's my little, um, that's my little Ulta haul. Like I said, I didn't really get to go where else I wanted to go. 
But we do have to go and my husband gets home from work. He should be home like less than an hour probably. We need to go get him um, some khakis for the Family Feud auditions tomorrow. So uh, we're probably going to be back out this way anyway. So we may be able to stop at Home Goods or something if he feels like it. Doubtful, but we can always hope. So, all right, I am going to start driving home now. And I will talk to you all later. And yeah, talk to y'all soon. Okay, bye. I don't, I don't want no she was a man like she was originally a man because she was like muscular like saying people were saying like that she was transgender and that she was originally a man just because she had like some muscle I'm like y'all are stupid wow people are taking the speed limit very seriously today wow people in this town can't drive 100% it's like the best playlist ever um this is a playlist on spotify it's called throwbacks i want to say um but it's not my playlist i just follow it on there and i will link my spotify name and everything below i think it's my maiden last name yeah um, before i was married but i will link my name below so you can go check out my playlist that I have, I have some pretty good ones. Um, I have quite a few like workout playlists and whatnot. So yeah, go check it out. Follow me. <sighs> I'm like really hungry. I realize that I haven't eaten since breakfast. That's probably why it's now 3.30. So yeah. These people behind me are literally about to hit me. I... Uh, mm -hmm. Ugh, just ready to be home. Hey, you guys, and oh, what is happening here? Hair looks just really cute today, so you're welcome. Okay, you know what? It's as good as it's gonna get, so it's a Monday. Okay, so it has been two days since I last vlogged. I'm so sorry that I'm ending this like so, just kind of all over the place. It was kind of a hectic weekend. Um, on Sunday, we went to church and then we had our friend's gender reveal party for their 
baby and it is going to be a baby girl which I guessed it was just, it was a lot of fun um, we got to see a lot of people we hadn't seen in a while and so yeah, I didn't really get to vlog yesterday so I'm sorry life was just not that interesting Saturday once I got home from the family feud auditions we just kind of hung out I was exhausted so we pretty much just chilled watched some it's always sunny in Philadelphia Philadelphia <laughs> We watched some It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia and really just hung out and we went to bed at honestly like 9 o'clock. Not even kidding and no shame. Absolutely no shame in that. So, just needed that sleep. Um, but yeah, so that's why I hadn't been able to vlog. But I figured I would get on here and do a, another little unboxing. I've just been dying like, to open this and I haven't yet because I wanted to do a little mini haul thing it's like a super mini haul but it's a few of my favorite items from bath and body works so i kind of wanted to throw that in there okay so got the box I'm ready to show you all what i got i've just been so ready to open this and actually be able to burn the candles but i've just have not just sat down and filmed and just shown you all what i got so I'm finally gonna do that so i can finally start burning these amazing candles so yeah this is pretty much these are probably my just top favorite scents from Bath & Body Works. Please don't mind my nails, by the way. They look like a hot mess. Just don't worry about it, okay? Thanks. But yeah, um, these are pretty much my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works. Um, but yeah, these are like my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works, the ones that I just really am drawn to every single year, no matter what new ones they come out with. These are just my all-time favorite go-tos. So I'm gonna share that with you all. I did get a few, uh, Looks like I've got three candles, a couple of the wallflower plug-in scent things, um, the scent refills, we were out, and then just, I got like one thing of soap because it was, I think you spend 50 and you get free shipping, so I was like, I should probably just go ahead and just, just throw a soap in there and then I'll get free shipping. Okay, worked out. And they actually had it to where if you bought anything on the website, like anything on Bath & Body Works, you would get a free, um, I think it was a sweet pumpkin candle, I think it was. So yeah, I actually bought two and then got one free, just the little special they were doing. I love their sales. Bath & Body Works sales, honey, they are, they give me life and it can get me into trouble too. So anyways, so first of all, for a soap, a hand soap, I got the flannel scented um, foaming hand soap. I love the scent flannel. It is just such a good clean scent. It kind of smells a little bit kind of like a man's, a man's, kind of like a men's cologne. It kind of smells like, and I just, I love it with just like a hint of fall. Like it's just, I just love it so much. Um, so as for the wallflower scent refills, I got two. I purchased the leaves one, which is probably my all-time favorite scent. Favorite. <laughs> it's probably my all-time favorite scent from them. Leaves is just leaves and sweater weather. Those are my all-time favorite. Hands down, no questions asked. When it comes to fall scents, leaves and sweater weather. There's no competition. So if you have not smelled those, I recommend that you do so immediately. So you can like just get a taste of like the most amazing scents that you will ever smell. Your nose will thank you. I promise you. And your house will smell just, <laughs> you won't ever want to leave. Just saying. But yeah, uh, so I got one um, leaves and sweater weather. <laughs> Who would have thought? Yeah, so um, again, my favorite scents of anything there. Like in the fall, this is, so I had to, I want my house to smell like it. I'll probably have to get more too. That was just, that was just getting us, getting us by for maybe a week or so. Last but not least is the candles. They come very sturdily uh, packaged, which I can really appreciate. Okay, so this was, um, this was the free one. Uh, this was the free candle. It's the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, and I do love this one, too. Let me see if it says, The fragrance notes in this is warm cinnamon, fresh ground clove, vanilla cream, and brown sugar. And it just, it really, it smells 
very strongly of cinnamon for the most part. That's really what I could, what I could smell in that. So it, I mean, it's, this will make your house smell delicious too. So I was so excited that they were giving those for free that day. I was like, ah, uh, yes. Cause we were actually going to go in the store. Um, but it started like pouring down rain on our way home from church and I like, checked the website and I was like, wait, I was like, I can, we can get a free one, but it's only online. He's like, well, just order them online. My husband was like, just order them online. So you get the free candle and we don't have to go out in this rain and get back out. And so I was, I was like, that's fine. That's fine. So if you wouldn't have guessed, I mean, I had to get a leaves, leaves candle. I mean, oh my, just give me a moment with my candle. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so this one, the notes in this one is crisp red apple, golden nectar, and warm clove spice. It just, I love it. It's, I mean, it's just delectable. And then, would you have even guessed that I got sweater weather too? <laughs> I'm so predictable. Oh. If you get one, if you can just get one, one candle. This one. Okay, can you see it? There's the light, like, yeah, the light's crazy bright. Sweater weather, okay? Thumbnail. Yeah, if you can get one candle, like if you have just one candle, you can only choose one, one ever in your life, choose this one, sweater weather. I promise you, you will not regret it. It is just, you know, we actually did with our, <laughs> the one from last fall, like we made it last, we tried to make it last for as long as we could. And once it was down to just to where we could not light it any longer. My husband actually like scraped the wax out and we put it in our little wax burners. So just a little tip for you there. If, uh, if you're getting down to the bottom of like one of your very favorite candles, just scrape the wax out and put it in a wax burner and problem solved and your whole house is once again, I'm gonna smell like your favorite scent. So yeah, sweater weather is where it's at as well as the other scents that I showed you that we got. So, that is it. It's empty. We're done um, with that. So sorry for my appearance today. I It is Monday and I really need to finish this vlog. I've never done a vlog before, so something I'm trying to get used to. And I kind of forget like to bring my camera. Like yesterday at the whole gender reveal and everything, I forgot to bring my camera. I just I just don't think about it yet so I'm working on that let me know if you guys enjoy this type of video I would love to continue to do like maybe weekly every other week vlogs something like that I feel like that'd be pretty cool if you guys are interested of course let me know because I don't want to do it if you're not gonna watch because that's just pointless so yeah but um hope y'all enjoyed this just all over the place vlog of my little Ulta trip and Bath Body Works haul I mean not really a haul it's just a few things but I love sharing what I get with you guys and giving you all some recommendations of things that I love and I feel like a lot of other people would love as well. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, it is Monday when I'm filming this again. So I hope you, whenever I post this, I'm not sure, hopefully Tuesday, Wednesday, I don't know. Well, I hope y'all are having a wonderful week so far. And... Ooh. I'm still not finish my coffee from this one. What's wrong with me? No wonder. I feel like it's like the 12th Monday this week. I hope y'all are having a wonderful week. Hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, please. I do upload new videos weekly and you don't want to miss out. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I hope you did. If you didn't, feel free to let me know that as well. I do like constructive criticism, so yeah. I thought this was just a little fun, quick kind of video. So hope y'all enjoyed it and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Speaking my heart.